Chapter 5 Season 2 is coming to an end in about a week, and I can say that this season was a roller coaster. It was only 76 days long, but it felt like it dragged on for way longer than that. This season had some very high moments, and it also had some very low moments, but overall, it was a disappointment. And honestly, I should have seen that coming with how Season 2 started. I mean, the downtime for the start of the season was over 10 hours, but I was okay with it because they introduced one of the best themes with Greek mythology, but in the end it just felt like wasted potential, and I'm gonna get into why Season 2 was a letdown. So starting with the map, I felt like this season's map was actually a huge upgrade from Chapter 5 Season 1. We had a few new locations, and a good chunk of the map had been changed with the new locations like the Underworld, Grimgate, Mount Olympus, and Brawler's Battleground. Over by the Underworld and Grimgate, we also had the Styx River, which gave you dashing ability for mobility around the map. And Reckless Reels became Restored Reels with all of the buildings fixed up for Season 2. Honestly, the changes were awesome and they were exciting in the beginning of the season, but that was really the only big map change that we got for the entire season. And after a while, it just felt very repetitive, only dropping the Underworld, Grimgate, Mount Olympus or Brawler's Battleground. It made it feel like some of the other locations were very boring to land at and there was a high chance that you were going to be landing by yourself with nobody to fight off the start. And on top of that, some of the buildings felt they were very copy and paste with the way they were structured. Also, I feel like they really messed up by not giving Poseidon his own location. Hades and Zeus got one but the third brother didn't. I really thought that ice by Grand Glacier was gonna melt and that was gonna turn into Poseidon's location. That's what I was really hoping for and I feel like that was a very big missed opportunity for the Greek mythology season. We did get some random buildings for the Avatar collab but those didn't really enhance the map at all. There was also a mini Darth Vader location but that was all the way on its own island. Overall the map had some huge improvements from chapter 5 season 1 but in the end it still got stale. I'm also getting really tired of floating island but that is just a nitpick. It would be nice to see with season 3 coming up that there are small map changes throughout the season to give the map a fresh feel. Overall though I give this map an 8 out of 10. Moving on to the next topic the chapter 5 season 2 battle pass. Now in my opinion this was easily the best part of the season. I honestly think this is one of the best battle passes that we have ever gotten in the game and it's honestly in my personal top 5 battle passes of all time. There's a handful of skins in this battle pass that I really love like Artemis, Hades, Medusa, Aphrodite, and Cerberus. I don't really like what they did to Poseidon. He could have been really badass like Hades and Zeus, but they made him the meme skin, which doesn't really make sense because he's supposed to be brothers with Hades and Zeus. But I get it, it's Fortnite. They always have to do a meme skin for their battle pass. And I wasn't a fan of Korra being in the battle pass either. I felt that spot should have been for Ares or maybe a Hercules skin or even a young Kratos. But obviously they put her in the battle pass for the collab that would happen about halfway through the season. I felt this battle pass also gave us awesome bonus styles as well as pretty cool quest styles and i overall liked the gliders the pickaxes and like the emotes i feel like overall they just did a really good job with the battle pass also quick note item shop was pretty hit or miss again this season i felt a little disappointed with hardly any greek mythology skins like hermes for example not being released in the item shop but i do love the new dynamic hush skin so she is one of my new favorites and they cooked with the Midas skin. But other than that, the item shop was very hit or miss again. Like I said though, overall, I thought this was an incredible battle pass. It is honestly my favorite part of the season. So I'm giving it a 9.3 out of 10. Up next, we're gonna talk about the gameplay. Now the gameplay was very hit or miss for me this season. I really liked how the season started. I felt like the first month was so much fun. I was enjoying the new items like the gatekeeper shotgun, the new medallions. I love that they had their own abilities. I liked the new mythics, especially the assault rifle you could get from Ares. That was actually my favorite mythic this season. I thought the Icarus wings were really cool and it was super creative, even though I always got shot out of the sky when I used them. And I felt Zeus's bolts were a great season themed item and I didn't think it was too overpowered. It was honestly pretty easy to shoot someone out of the sky when they started using them. The chain of Hades might have been the coolest thing that got added though this season. I think my girl got half her kills using the chain of Hades this season. Another new gameplay feature I really liked was getting the dash from the Styx River. That made it super fun for fights, especially if you landed at the Underworld or Grim Gate. And it was also great for mobility on that side of the island. In that first month or so, really the only downfall was snipers, which was a reoccurring theme from Chapter 5 Season 1. Especially 
especially in zero build it felt like every game was just a sniper war at the end but at some point they tried nerfing it and i feel like it made a little bit of a difference like i did feel like i was getting knocked less by snipers in end game but overall i really hope they do something about snipers for season three the frenzy auto shotgun probably one of the most broken shotguns uh, it also got a nerf as well, and you could kind of tell. From any sort of distance, it was not doing the same damage that it was doing before, which was definitely needed because that made the Gatekeeper a more viable option. The Gatekeeper was awesome. I love the shotgun so much, but you definitely have to have a drum mag with it. It was very tough to use with only three shots if you're playing like duos, trios, squads, because you're going to be reloading constantly. But overall, I really like the Gatekeeper. We also got a new bunker system for the weapon benches, and I thought that was really cool. The only thing thing I had a problem with in regards to the bunker system was that they needed to appear earlier in game because most of them were already in storm when they finally opened up. Other than that, it was a great idea and it was nice to be able to go and get the attachments you want versus the weapons you like to use. So like I said, the first half of the season I was playing a lot and I was honestly really enjoying myself. I was considering it like a top 10 season. Then water bending came into the game and that changed my mood entirely for the season. Mythics like water bending need to just never be in the game in my opinion. Opinion. The rest of the avatar mythics were fine. I thought airbending was pretty cool. Um, it was great for mobility. Fire bending and earth bending, they weren't OP at all. Water bending was what was really frustrating for the second half of this season. It honestly made the game feel super boring in my opinion, and all of these avatar mythics were in the game for way too long. It was also super frustrating that they removed the season themed items for the avatar mythics. Like the season themed items weren't even broken in my opinion. I don't think it would have been a big deal to have both the avatar mythics and the season theme mythics in the game at the same time. The avatar mythics definitely definitely overstayed their welcome. Just like every anime mythic does when they introduce it halfway through the season, they did it all through chapter four and it was super annoying. And then right as the avatar mythics left, we got these Star Wars items that came into the game, but those were a letdown. There was only one lightsaber it was, and you had to kill Darth Vader for it. The blasters were just meh. They were, they're all right. It just feels like Epic is relying on collabs too much like they always do. And that really brought the gameplay down for me. So like I said, the first half of the season, I was absolutely loving the gameplay. And then the second half of the gameplay, I did not like it as much. So overall, I'm going to be giving the gameplay a 7 out of 10. Moving on to collabs, I touched on it a little bit in regards to gameplay. But we did have two major collabs this season. That was the Avatar collab and the Star Wars collab. Both of these collabs had mini passes. One of them was for Battle Royale and the other was for Lego Fortnite. To be honest with you, I didn't really care for either of the collabs this season, to be honest. I love Star Wars, but I feel like it's overdone at this point. And in general, I didn't like anything that they added. The Avatar collab was a little better than the Star Wars collab, but I still didn't enjoy it. I feel like they shove collabs down my throat these days like I'm a Bella Danger. I like the collabs, don't get me wrong. I have plenty of collab skins, but they are relying on other IPs instead of making us care about and get attached to their new skins and characters. And that's what's frustrating about the collabs. That, and I feel like their overpowered mythics ruin the game. It's fun for about a day or two, then it gets really old really fast. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I did grind for the free stuff. I mean, it's free stuff. I'm not gonna pass on it, but I didn't care for any of the skins that got released. Overall, I just felt like these were very disappointing collabs. I hated the OP water bending, as I mentioned before. I feel like that ruined the battle royale. And like a Lego Fortnite mini pass, really? Are we really doing that? But overall, these collabs were a big miss for me. I give them a four out of 10. Now, last but not least, we're gonna talk about the story. Even if you don't really pay attention to it, the Fortnite storyline is important for the game. The Fortnite storyline is what drives the events, it drives the characters, and it drives the map changes for Fortnite Battle Royale. And this honestly like might have been the biggest disappointment for me for this season. I had high hopes for this season, but that I guess that was my mistake in the end. They introduced the perfect theme with Greek mythology. They brought in awesome characters. They have awesome skins, but overall it just, it felt like a waste. It was wasted potential. They absolutely butchered not only the Greek mythology storyline, but the Greek mythology storyline they were trying to build within the game. When we first started the season with story quests and the Oracle, Oracle. I was so excited, but then we didn't get any other quests for a month. And when they did return, they all felt very rinse and repeat. Run around, find artifacts, eliminate some people, then get told that Zeus wants to kill the mortals on the island. It felt like for every character that we did story quests for, 
it was the same thing over and over. Like I really ran around for 15 quests to get Cerberus a chew toy. I mean, it was kind of adorable, don't get me wrong, but like really that's what we're doing. And those artifacts, I don't even remember them saying anything. Like we had to go look for them, but I don't think they revealed anything important at all. Doing those quests, it was honestly really boring and I felt like there was no creativity put into them. And Hope led the charge to defeat Zeus with us, which I feel like was very random. I can tell that she's like taking the lead now. She might be taking over for Jonesy maybe. And I think she could be an awesome character, but I don't feel any attachment to her like I did with Jonesy or the Foundation or the Seven in general from the past. What she needs is a lot more dialogue, even if it's voice dialogue or something that makes me care about this character because I really like her look and I like her vibe they just need to make me care about her now I need to get attached to that character now I will say this like last week or so the mini event that's been leading into the next season has actually been pretty cool Zeus struck down lightning on Pandora's box it skipped to the end of the map it started the sandstorm there's someone called the wanderer now I don't even know who that is I've been trying to read threads about it but I have I really have no idea the Fortnite storyline can get so confusing sometimes but I will figure out who the wanderer is the only issue i have with this mini event is like a, like i mentioned it's been awesome a they're doing it while i'm at work so that pisses me off but what is honestly more annoying is it doesn't feel earned because of how bad the storyline was this season like i'm not getting super excited by it like i look at it i'm like oh that's cool but it doesn't feel rewarding and i'm not excited and in general mini events are not as exciting compared to the actual live events i'm hoping in season three they really step it up story wise especially if you're doing apocalyptic like that's another incredible theme like you have back-to-back -back awesome themes do not mess it up again make me care about these new characters because i really want to i've loved all of the new battle pass skins that they've introduced and there is just so much potential but they're wasting it stupid metaverse so i give the overall story for chapter 5 season 2 a 5 out of 10. the only reason it got a 5 was because of this mini event other than that, it probably would have been a two or a three. And my final thoughts on the season is I just was so excited and I feel really let down. I hope you enjoyed the season. And if you did, that's awesome. But like I have mentioned before, there was just, it was a wasted opportunity with Greek mythology. This was just a wasted potential season. This was like the most I haven't played in a long time. I really haven't touched the game in like a week and a half, I think, besides like festival so I can complete that pass. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I still love the game. I'm not going to stop playing Fortnite. I have hope that season three is going to be awesome and it should be with an apocalyptic theme but who knows they'll probably introduce another anime collab halfway through get some dumb overpowered mythics and it gets ruined but i'm going to try to stay positive but overall i just didn't enjoy the season that i wanted to i was let down so for the my overall rating it was a 33.3 out of 50 so it was like a 66%. So about as close to a seven out of 10, but it was like, a, it's a 6.6 out of 10. And I feel like that's fair. As far as compared to other seasons, I feel like it's kind of like in the middle of the pack, but closer to like number 20, maybe like number 19, something like that. But either way, hype for season three. And I can't wait to start making season three videos. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to use code Toon Spider in the Fortnite item shop. Let me know how you felt about chapter five, season two. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.